Want to grift men in their 30s? Sure. Knock yourself out. I'm just here to laugh at it. The Modern Day Night Project is one of the latest alpha male grifts being run by a man named Bedros Koulian. Now this guy's actually been around forever, and the cool thing about being a grifter on the internet is that you can constantly reinvent yourself if you stick around long enough. It's like creating a new character or re-rolling another class in WoW. Now me personally, I remember Bedros all the way back from the Jason Capital arc. I swear all of these salt and pepper, touch of gray, middle age, suave entrepreneurs have the same roster of dudes that they rotate through at their panels or their mental masturbation clinics. And they're all wearing these V-necks that are way too deep and leather bracelets with beads on them. Either way, Bedros created what he calls the project or the MDK project. So this three day boot camp, 72 hours is designed to whip you into shape according to the four F's. What do you mean you don't know about the four F's? Come on. Fitness, family, faith, and finances? Keeping them in a hamster wheel of self-improvement until one day they realize that they've been hustled, but they're too scared to admit it because of the sunken cost. So how much are we talking here? Well, the Modern Day Night Project will run you 12 grand for 72 hours. Now, I've heard through the grapevine, the economy's down, interest rates are through the roof, you got the FTX, crypto bubbles about to burst, the whole nine, right? The Modern Day Night Project is no longer 12 grand, but a whopping $15,000. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. That's why they designed a sleep quiz that helps match your unique body type with your sleeping preferences, so that you can find the perfect mattress for you. If you happen to sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together to find the best compromise. I tend to sleep on my side and stomach, and I like a medium mattress feel, so I was matched with the Midnight Lux. I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for well over a year now, and ever since I moved, I had to upgrade from a queen to a king. That's how much I love my Helix. Gone are the days of going to a mattress store only to be hustled by a salesman for an uncomfortable overpriced mattress. In fact, your new Helix bed comes rolled in a box directly to you. You don't even have to leave your house. I actually had fun setting up my new Helix. It took me just under five minutes to carry it up the stairs and watch my new bed come to life. And if Sebastian likes it, you know it's quality. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet in person, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial. This gives you a little bit over three months to completely fall in love with your new bed. And if you don't, they will come and pick it up for you, no questions asked, and you'll get a full refund but that's not gonna happen. Best of all, every Helix comes with a 10-year warranty. They even offer financing options and payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never that far away. I absolutely love my Helix, and I think you would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. Go to helixsleep.com slash filion, or just click the link down below to get up to $200 off your new mattress, plus two free pillows. And thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. And I don't need to tell you guys this because you're all educated members of society, but whenever you see someone holding up these influencers, gurus, or social media personalities on a pedestal, and you see the whiteboard with the goaded with the sauce Tony Robbins diagrams, it's a sign to take out your wallet and hand over all your cash. Think of all the value that you're receiving from attending one of these events. Yeah, so today we're just gonna have some fun and make fun of military LARPers. People who pay thousands of dollars to roleplay as G.I. Joe in order to feel badass for once in their life. And if anyone in the comments section says, Filion, why don't you try it if you're so tough? And to that I say, no. Nah, but for real, can we stop pretending like it's hard to push someone through a workout to their absolute breaking point. It's always the dumbest shit too. It's like jump in a freezing tub and then roll around in sand. You just look like a human chicken cutlet. Like what does that do? You're not training for anything. These boot camps serve one purpose, 
a dick measuring contest for low IQ cretins. And the whole military aspect, are you kidding me? It plays on every Kyle's wet dream. Here's a novel idea. Instead of spending 15 grand on a knockoff military experience, why don't you just enlist today and join the real thing? No, you don't want to do that? Well, it's because this program is designed to take advantage of men with no direction in their life and no sense of camaraderie. They're lonely, they don't know what to do, and they're being sold on this course as a proverbial fix-all. Do I feel bad? No, but it does identify that there is a problem here. I guess there's actually just some people out there with a humiliation fetish where they are willing to pay top dollar to get hazed by another full-grown man with a Napoleon complex. Shut up! Stop rolling your fucking eyes! Gentlemen, welcome to the project. The project is a 75 hour experience. It's for men just like you, who know that you're meant for more, who know that you might have areas in your life that you're not performing at your highest level. You know you've got greater potential and there's a higher purpose for you here. The whole theme being in black and white, chef's kiss. It's very reminiscent of the Jocko Willink aesthetic. You know what I mean? The project is not an experience, it's also a process. It's like administering chemotherapy to a cancerous area of the body. Cancer? And it's going to unearth and expose who you are. The physical challenging that you go through is purpose-driven. Every single evolution is purpose-driven. Every single evolution creates opportunity for four things. To lead, to show emotional discipline. What the fuck are they doing to this guy? <laughs> Burying him alive? Is this a Mr. Beast challenge? Yeah, no, they actually simulate you going into your grave. It's, it's common among these alpha male camps. Trust me, if you're new here, it's obvious that you're green, you know? You're a newbie if you don't know about the self-burial technique. To communicate and to problem solve. So the project is here for a purpose, to help you become the man <laughs> It's a skull. Skull and crossbones, baby. Jolly Roger. Nice little memento mori to remind me of life and death. That is hard. You know in your deepest heart that you're meant to be. And all we're going to do as instructors over the next 75 hours is administer the project. No different than a doctor would administer chemotherapy to a cancerous body part. Just so manipulative. In your body is a cancer that is growing. And the process that we will administer will cut it out of you. Like the little bitch that is stuck inside of you. You have to be able to control your emotions. Because the moment you shut down and you let those thoughts come in and the self-talk begins. And the self-talk is never, yay, you got this did you do? Why did you sign up for this? This is harder than you think. So I want you to understand that if you're looking to the 75th hour, you've already failed. You know that after some amount of talking here, we're going to take you either out that door or out that door, and there's going to be some level of punishment, some level of suffering, some level of adversity. And I'm here to tell you right now, from the fittest to the fattest of you, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. So you have the choice to ring the bell and quit anytime you want. It's just military role-playing down to the very, like, ring the bell if you give up, and then everyone sees that you're a pussy. Huh? You need to understand the difference between being hurt and injured. You need to control the negative thought patterns up here. You need to go to the next hour, and that's all you need to worry about. Who's heard the phrase, blood is thicker than water? Raise your hand. All of you. That is taken out of context. The true phrase of that is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. What that means is the blood that people spill together, who go through adversity together, is thicker, creates a bigger bond, a deeper bond than the water of the womb, meaning people who have shared the same womb. <laughs> this guy's just dead in the grave. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. And to that point, this is where I like to remind you that there's only two things that you can control. Only two things, fellas, that you guys can control during this entire evolution. The amount of effort you put out. America, baby, let's go. And the attitude in which you show up with to every evolution. I was able to leave with more confidence, more faith in myself. My family feels more secure. <laughs> um, the sad part is these dudes really have to convince their wives or husbands 
that this is a good idea for them to go through. And my finances, I feel like I have more control to be able to... This should be like stolen valor. <laughs> ...make the decisions that will allow me to propel much further than I had self-limiting beliefs on those aspects. You know, I came back uh, from the project Four months later, I quit my job. I went back into business for myself. Tripled my my uh, yearly income by just that one thing of knowing that I have the skill set to, to be an entrepreneur again. So this is geared for entrepreneurs, right? I'd like to think of myself as somewhat entrepreneurial, independent, have you? What are you learning by going into an ice bath? Maybe that's what I'm missing to get to a million subs. Uh, and, and put myself uh, out in the market again. Everything's the market, the business model. All right, so that was sick. Let's watch some shorts because, you know, YouTube's promoting the shorts. Let's pay some respects to the algorithm overlords. The MKD project is your entrance exam to your full potential. Shut up. One more fucking word. You're gone. I'm not fucking around. Shut up. Stop rolling your fucking eyes. Stop asking for fucking electrolytes and be a fucking man. I don't give a fuck what you do when you're home. You are not impressing me here with your little fucking machines and shit. You're good because you have all these fucking comforts. Shut the fuck up and be a team player and go fucking join your team. Yes. You say another fucking word, you're gone. So that right there is Ray Cash Care. He's an ex-Navy SEAL and he is one of the main instructors for the MDK project. From what I understand, he's not really liked for his involvement with this project because ex-military people see right through it and recognize it as a cash grab. This one's titled Billy Badass or Instructor Steve, Who You Got? Damn, Johnny Sins really did fall off, huh? I'll never come back here again! Come on! Yo, just kiss already. <clears throat> That's what I thought! Just a shot of testosterone. Dude, I don't even have to drink coffee anymore. Every morning I just rewatch this short. <clears throat> I like the comment. This is the Weenie Hut Juniors of boot camp. Just go enlist in the army or something. We are on a roll, okay? Rolls Royce, big houses. The only thing that matters is because you haven't answered me every time I ask you. Yeah. You got it? I'll get it. Then get fucking moving. What have you been saying all day long? What has Instructor Steve and everybody been saying? Come on. Flip the fucking switch. Yes, you haven't been fucking training. No. Yes, you fucking live. I've been looking at your little Instagram thing no. with your Rolls Royces and all your shit. I don't give a fuck what you drive. I don't give a fuck how big your house is. What I give a fuck is what you're doing right now. This guy already just like beat life. He's just doing all the side quests and he gets Ray Cash Care. That's tough. And you're not doing what's expected. So put out fucking harder, flip this fucking switch, or get the fuck out of here. That's your options. What are you gonna do? Daddy, chill. <laughs> do? What are you gonna do? Tell me. I'm gonna do it. I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the fucking switch, then flip it and fucking move! After every video, it's just... <sighs> this one looks interesting. Will you make the decision to be average or extraordinary? Once you get to the top, you take a breath and you look for another battle to acquire. Come on. Let's go. Get around there. Come on. I don't need to yell and degrade you. Come on. Just put out. Now start going down the hill. Give me your arm. Come on, brother. I got you. Let's go for a ride. Go. Get down there. Go. <laughs> Come on, brother. Yeah, I got you. Yay! There's a couple of articles that I think we should take a look at. And the first one is called Guys Are Paying $10,000 to Become Real Men at Warrior Camps, written by Vice. In one evolution called The Dash, which refers to the dash between the birth and death dates on your tombstone, men are given a shovel and instructed to dig their own shallow grave. Then they enter a body bag zip it up, and lay in their fresh grave. As instructors spread a layer of dirt on top of them. While underground, each man is tasked with burying their inner bitch, so their inner beast may rise again. Afterwards, men write a eulogy. 
not for their life as it is now, but the life they envision for themselves with their inner beast awakened. Yeah, I don't see what the problem is. Seems perfectly healthy to me. This article was posted on LinkedIn, written by Jimmy Rex. Now, he details his time at the project. Some of the events that he details include the fitness test, which is a one-mile run, 100 push-ups, 100 squat thrusts, 100 crawl outs and another mile run all under 75 minutes and don't worry this was the easiest thing they did next they loaded up a big backpack and a 10 pound sledgehammer and headed off on a trail run up and down mountains and hills for an hour when they got back to the compound they were introduced to the pit this is a dirt field full of rocks shards of cement trenches and railroad tracks now members of the project are sent to the pit whenever they disobey daddy i mean the coaches and it's their source of punishment. This could include sprinting across it, mixed with stomach crawls, crawling on their back, and bear crawling across it. So what's the big deal, right? After all, it's their money. They can spend it how they see fit. If they want to get humiliated and play military, why not? Knock themselves out, right? There is a vital piece of information <laughs> I've been saving for this very moment. Each modern day night project class is numbered, and apparently in class five, a man died. They have a memorial axe in his honor hung up in the classroom. Of course they do. I mean, if that's not like a red flag to shut down the project. But why do I feel like that's just more fuel to the fire? I think it's about time for me to go and kill my inner bitch.